What's up chicas? Welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, I have to say welcome to my channel. My name is Frances Michelle. I'm so excited that you guys are here. So excited you guys want to watch this video. So today's video that I have for you guys is pretty much a another look using the Jaclyn Hill Armand Free palette. This time we are using the Bling Boss palette and it's more of like a, as you can see, um, more of plummy a purple colors and I created this look using her palette and I had to incorporate another palette because one of her mattes here was not working so if you guys want to see this video um if you guys want to see how the bling boss palette worked on my eyes what I think about this particular palette and all of that before we get into the video don't forget to hit subscribe right down there hit the subscribe button so you can be part of my beautiful girlfriend squad here i'm so close to 40k and i want to make this happen before the end of the year so without your subscribe if you are not i cannot do it so make sure you hit that subscribe button and um let's see let's go ahead and get on with the video all right so we are going to start off with this primer facial mask which i absolutely love from biobel cosmetics we are just going to apply this. This is pretty much extra, but I love it. It prepped my skin amazingly. And I love, love, love using face mask. It creates such a beautiful canvas on the face. So I'm just applying it and we're gonna leave it on for five minutes. So we're gonna move on to the eyes really, really quick. Prep my eyes with concealer. Now we're gonna move into the Jaclyn Hill and the Murphy palette and we're using the Bling Boss. We're gonna go ahead and grab this color in the corner called Hush Hush. And we are going to start trying to blend it onto our crease. Trying, hence the word trying, as you can see. So this is the color that gave me no payoff whatsoever. It was very, very bad, as you can see, there's no transfer. So I had to bring in the Huda Boss, um, the Huda Beauty palette, and we're using that shade right in the middle. Um, I will list it, list it down below. Look at the difference, guys. I'm telling you, some things, some of the colors in the palettes work, some they, some of them don't. So the here, I'm just using um, that color on the crease, and now we're gonna move on to that purple shade in there, which is called Rockstar. And actually, this one does have a good color payoff. It's a little hard to blend, but it definitely works great, guys. Honestly speaking, um, I actually like it. It's like really, really nice. Um, it's very pigmented and the only thing is it, it's a little troubling trying to blend the colors. So we're going to apply this, the color uh, Ballsy. You have some Ballsy onto my lid. I'm telling you guys, the shimmer shades on her palettes are actually good. I love this color. It's like a nice purpley, plummy color. So I'm just applying that on my eyes. I'm not trying to do a cut crease. I'm just applying it on my lid. And it actually looks very nice. So I'm just pretty much, I don't show it on camera, but I go back and forth between trying to blend the colors, trying to make the colors blend and try to make the colors pop. So that's what I do here. I just apply on the lead, on the lid, crit, uh, crease, and then go back to the lid. So we're gonna do a liquid liner. And I'm using the um, Pixie Beauty dual liner it's a um, liquid liner and I just went home with the liner honestly I wanted to make it look very bold and then um, I did the same thing to the other side guys so pretty much I'm here just making sure that both liners are even and like like I told you I go between back and forth Applying the color to make sure everything's even so I apply lashes guys. I'm using the Lily lashes in Miami Oh my god, I'm obsessed with the lashes So that's it. I'm gonna do for my eyes. We're moving on to the face And here we are just applying the covergirl pore minimizing uh, Primer and I love using it with a stippling brush I feel like it just applies better to my skin and it doesn't stay on my skin on my fingers so we're using the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation in both shades 3.40 and 3.35. And with the Beauty Blender, I am blending those two colors together. And ladies, I have to say, lately, I've been really, really loving this foundation, guys. Like, honestly. So we're moving on to concealer, and I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. You guys know I've been loving this concealer as well. Very, um, very for coverage and definitely very 
very very nice the blend and i love how it looks so i'm just as usual concealing and highlighting the high points of my face so that's what i'm doing here and then after i give you a little bit of you know show you my moves i go ahead and blend everything together and i just i'm telling you i love the finish and the coverage of this concealer so here I am a little bit back and forth blending making sure everything is well blended and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bake our face oh actually I like to set my I like to set it before I start baking I feel like it's just helps the foundation stay longer and I'm gonna set using the Derma blend translucent powder oh my god I don't know why but I've been loving this powder so much I love it it brightens and it definitely definitely sets so good I love the this uh, translucent powder then to set the rest of my face I'm using a covergirl um, healthy skin I think it's called uh, powder and I'm just tapping around the areas where I did not bake and trying to make sure that everything is even with my neck and my face for contouring bronzer I'm using the Hula benefit bronzer and I love I forgot how much I love this bronzer guys like I legit love it So I'm just warming up my face, contouring um, everything around my face. And then I am carving it out and I am applying it on the bottom part of my face where I, uh, below the contour. Okay, so I'm applying, I did the same thing I did on top of the eyes to the bottom part and I'm applying a little bit of black liner in the waterline just to make the look, look a little more dramatic and of course you cannot miss mascara never skip mascara on your lower lash lines or on your lashes to try and blend them better with your falsies so now we're moving on to highlight and I'm using the Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero palette and I'm using these two colors right there forever young and I'm using forever lit right in the corner and girls look at that Whoa, look at that highlight though. I forgot how much I love this palette. I love it. So highlight everything, girl. Highlight everything. So we're going to contour our lips, lip line. No? I'm using a NYX lip liner. I will put the name on the bottom. And I'm just overdrawing my lips. Lately, I've been doing that. A lot of people have asked if I have had lip injections. No, I'm just overdrawing my lips, guys. I'm going with a Gerard Cosmetic Hydra liquid lipstick in the color mile high i love this color i forgot how much i love um Gerard cosmetics hydra um liquid lipsticks they're liquid lipsticks and it'll like dry off your lips so this is just a little trick that i do when they're not as matte as i want it to be and i want it to set i use a little bit of translucent powder with a brush and i just you and me everything that we've been through has made us strong you won't believe we've had our great but somewhere there's a light inside of us it shows the way not looking for no oh no all right guys so there you have it that is how i created this look using her palette i went back back and forth from the jacqueline hill palette and the huda beauty just to use that one color because that one color from Jaclyn Hill was actually not working, but other than that, you saw how um, the dark purple kind of just was very pigmented. It was very easy to blend, and of course, her shimmers are, I don't know, her shimmers are amazing. I love the shimmers on her palette and all that. So this is what I created. You guys wanted to see more like different colors than um, nude, so I decided to create another mauve color, but this time using um, her Jaclyn Hill palette. For my next tutorial, I will be using the other palette that I have from her. And I will try to create a more like, like reddish color because I think that one is. It would be Ring the Alarm, so I will be creating a more reddish tone. So stay tuned for that. If you want to see a tutorial on that palette, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you turn the notification bell on so it lets you know when we're raining videos on your feed. So don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. And if you want to follow me on all my social sites, they are all right down below. And I hope you liked the tutorial. I hope you liked the video. And if you ever recreate any of these looks, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. I would love to say. Let me know your thoughts on the bottom section as usual. Let me know what you're thinking about the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palettes. Let me know your thoughts. I would love 
to chat with you. Anyways, thank you guys so much for your love. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for sticking till the end. Muchos besos. I'll see you ladies on my following video. Adios.